Hi, I'm Paul Welburn from uh, the Leckenfield restaurant in Petworth. So today, essentially, I'm doing uh, a lovely dish of roast quail. Basically, I'm using the technique of sous vide, and for me, produce a much superior taste, texture, um, and mouthfeel of the actual bird, as opposed to regular um, cooking of a quail that everyone knows. So to break it down, no real nice way of doing this, but off with the head. Now I'm going to break the legs down. Now I want to try and keep as much of the skin on as possible, because when this is being cooked sous vide, it's going to protect the meat. So we're going to pull it apart there, and literally just cut it in on the bird, open him up, turn it over, turn it back on itself to release the bone, and then we just remove the, the leg. Okay. We'll remove the uh, wings. These can be used for stocks and sauces. So this way, basically, you do the opposite. So rather than going down the breast that you would do normally, you come from underneath, you cut along the rib cage, and you work it away, scraping away at the bone, making sure you don't go through the actual skin. You do both sides. Be really careful to work along the rib cage. Be really careful not to tear the skin. Otherwise, the whole point of this has been, uh, has been ruined. And then at the top, you just cut straight through, top of the bone. That's the bone removed. The skin is completely intact. So onto the legs. So you could comfy these legs as they are, very natural. That's not a problem. For me, I'm trying to create almost a lollipop effect where the bone is completely separate from the meat. So then you can eat it easily without having bone fragments. So by doing that, you cut either side of the uh, thigh bone, come through, remove it from the, uh, the thigh, scrape away. At this stage, with a knife, just cut through between the joints. So you're left with a pure piece of meat with no bone fragments, nothing. Okay. Hold it tight and cut right around the bone. With this one, you scrape against the bone. And then about halfway down, turn your knife on an angle, cut through the bone. You then fold back on itself, hook it through the meat, and then pull the meat down, creating a nice little lollipop. Onto the brining of these. So inside there, you've literally got your salt, your sugar, your spices. The legs get brined for an hour. The breasts, again, they're very thin, very small. They'll take half an hour. Make sure when you come back to uh, the brine after, make sure you wash it under cold, cold water, fresh water, to remove that salt. Take a small piece of cling film, and we set the leg inside. Always have the uh, bone sticking up. Okay, we fold the cling film around, twist. This is really important to make sure that shape is, is otherwise the whole point of this process is, is lost. And then we tie, making sure bone is held in place. These are then placed into sous vide bags. Okay, so that's the uh, legs done. Now onto the breast. Now with this here, obviously we've now brined it, we've washed it off, we've patted it dry. Now we're gonna roll it. And then using a product called Transglutamate. So this is literally like a, it, it, it sets protein to protein. We dust this over the breast, roll it over on itself. And then again with cling film, we then roll. Okay, so nice and tight. And there purely you've got quail, two breasts, that will cook evenly all the way through. I think if you use the sous vide techniques in the right way, um, you can create consistency, uniform cooking, textures that you can't create in normal cooking, um, mouth feels, flavor profiles, that. Using sous vide is, is definitely a technique that enhances a chef's ability, not removes it. Next element now is to remove the uh, confit legs from the bag. One of these is going to be roasted and glazed up. The other one, I'm just going to literally going to pan it a little bit of flour and breadcrumb. Like I have here, all three components have been sous vide, slow cooked or fast and low but they're all gonna get a secondary cooking. So obviously, the legs then gonna be roasted to that nice roasted comfy flavor. 
This one's going to be deep fried to get a nice crispy texture on the outside. But essentially inside it's got a nice, even, uniform cooking side. And the breast is going to be roasted. So I'm not a big fan of removing meat, especially from a bag, and then serving it. I always make sure that my meats or fishes, uh, unless they're being poached, have a secondary cooking. So the final step now is uh, plating up and start to plate up. And that's the finished dish. Using the techniques of sous vide, slow cooked quail breast, two types of comfort quail leg, quail egg, set and wood sorrel.